Okay, hello everyone! DSP here, and welcome to a brand new playthrough, although maybe you wouldn't want to call it a brand new playthrough, because ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Resident Evil on the PlayStation 4, and this is a unique opportunity because this is the remake of the remake in HD, and you say, what the hell does that mean? It basically means that Resident Evil originally was released for the PlayStation 1, and I played that one in the 1990s. And in fact, about two years ago, I replayed that game once I adopted direct capture technology. So if you ever wanted to watch my original playthrough of Resident Evil on the PlayStation 1, you can watch it. It is live on my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. But here we are two years later, and Capcom has decided to remake another remake of Resident Evil 1 which was originally released in the early 2000s on the GameCube. Now, this was a version of the game that I never played. So, I don't know anything about the differences between Resident Evil on the PlayStation and Resident Evil on the GameCube. So, what I'm to understand, it's a combination of new and old. So, there's going to be some stuff in there that's very similar to the original game. And now it's going to be... Uh, you know, a new new content from this GameCube version that I never play. Now, the version we're playing today is an HD facelift slash kind of almost ultimate edition of the GameCube remake of Resident Evil. And what I mean by that is it's going to have HD graphics, completely redone textures, and, you know, as you can see just from this little picture here, the, you know, the little uh graphical upgrade that they're going to give the game apparently character models from the more recent resident evil games i believe that that they're supposed to have the character models from resident evil 5 in here okay and in addition to all of that modern controls have been added to the game so basically modern control scheme with dodging and all that which i'm like wow i wonder how that's going to factor in now it's an option you don't have to use the modern controls but i am interested all right. Now, this is pretty interesting because for some reason, if you look up here, I can't, I can't hit up. But if you look above where I'm highlighting here, it says Resident Evil, full game from Electronic Arts. Uh, I'm pretty sure this game was not made by EA. It was made by Capcom. Now, I don't know if EA is involved because maybe they published it digitally or whatever. But I think that may be an, an error on Sony's part, but I could be wrong. Um, so I'm very excited, because I love the Resident Evil series, one of my favorite series of all time. I'm curious to see what new content has been added to the game from the GameCube version, because I never played it. So, I'm going to warn you guys, it's going to be trial and error. There's going to be parts that I probably know what I'm doing, and parts that I have no clue what's going on. And it could be pretty interesting, alright? Alright, so without further ado, let's boot the game. Advanced warning, I don't know what the volume levels are. Typically, these Capcom games are screwed up with the volume, and we're probably going to have to adjust it on the fly. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm excited. <clears throat> Resident Evil from EA. As you can see, EA games right there. <laughs> Uh-oh. <clears throat> Uh-oh, it's pixely. What's going on? Oh, hello. It's a living bag of corn. Or not. <laughs> Sit back down. Uh, I don't see anything about EA, so I'm pretty sure this is not by EA. Just saying. <clears throat> Loading content. No save data? Yes, please create save data. Thank you. <laughs> it's EA, so it's microtransaction filled. Oh, short on ink ribbons? Buy one for $5. <laughs> yes. Oh, Low on ammo? That's fine. Get the new ammo pack for only $2.99. So it looks like the... Wow, the loading icon is a splatter of blood. That's cool. Uh, let's go right into the options and make sure that we have all the things enabled that we need. Display. Yeah, I want the widescreen aspect ratio. That's good. I may want to up the brightness a little bit now. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> so is this the more modern... Uh, it looks like you do a 180 degree turn with right thumbstick. You aim with L1. You attack with R1. Change aiming target with L2. And your map is R2. That's weird. Status reload while aiming. is Yeah, this is definitely a more modern control scheme. Uh, I'm going to leave it on this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave it on this. If I don't like it, we'll go back to the classic controls. All right. 
uh, brightness. I'm probably going to up the brightness a little bit. Here we go. We'll leave it on 70. If it looks too bright, we'll adjust it. Audio, do we have... Alright, that's all max. That's good. Language, uh, English subtitles on. Excellent. That's what I wanted to make sure. And that's it. Auto data upload. Do you want to upload data about your game to the server? What? No. Okay. <clears throat> All right, new game. Resident Evil. Ooh, Resident Evil. <laughs> oh, not, what the hell? I just fixed this. I just set this, and now they're resetting it. All right, here we go. Oh, whoa. How do you like your game? I like climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. I like going on a hike. Good exercise, but not too strenuous. I like taking a walk. You can relax and enjoy yourself. So what it sounds to me like is hard, you know, normal, easy. Now, I don't want easy, so I'm probably going to go on medium, okay? Not too hard, not too, sh not too uh, easy. Okay, let's do that. Approved. Now. Let's take a look here. We've got Jill and we've got Chris. Wait a minute. Holy shit, look at this. Stars Chris and BSAA Chris. So you've actually got classic Chris Redfield and the more modern from Resident Evil 5 Chris Redfield. That's cool. Again. Ah, yeah. So you know what this is? These are the character models from Resident Evil 5 where, if you remember, Chris and Jill storm an identical mansion... Uh, that was supposed to be like a, re uh, 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 a redo of the original mansion from the original Resident Evil game, and they confront Wesker at the end of it. And that was kind of part of the plotline of Resident Evil 5, and later on it became a DLC called Lost in Nightmares. We're going to go with the classic look, and I think for our first playthrough, I don't know if I'm going to be, you know, going back and playing it again, but uh, I think that we're going to be doing uh, Chris. Classic Chris. All right, Chris Redfield. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated oh boy. in the northwest raccoon. Are they going to use the, the actors? This is so campy. I love it. Patriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Oh, this is going to be great if they use the acting Bizarre murder that they did in the first game. Bizarre occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about oh, ten people. I guess not. Victims were apparently eaten. And they were delicious. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Dope! Joseph Forrest. That's who this is. This is Safe cool. The remaining body of Kevin. They redid everything. That's awesome. Oh god, Kevin got easy. We continued our search Westgate. for the other members. Val Kilmer. And it turned into a nightmare. And Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Uh-oh. I like how they redid this cutscene. <clears throat> this poor guy with the bandana, I think he gets fucked up. <laughs> oh? What was that? <sighs> Surprise! <laughs> Yummy! Zombie dog pack, baby. That's it for him. I'm glad you just stood there watching as they ate him. Yummy. Release the zombie hounds! This is, uh... This is Mr. Burns' house. <laughs> he released the zombie hounds. Oh 
shit. Look at him. Quick fire, run faster pack for three ninety nine. <laughs> Buy a second chopper pack for $19.99 now. Uh-oh. Oh, good this shot. Way. Chris this way. Bring in Wesker and his magnum. And there he is, Barry Burton. Yes. The classic. All right, very nice. Enter the survival horror. To their dismay, when they opened the front door, they faced zombie Mr. Smithers. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. What? What about Barry? We what don't are you talking know where about? Barry is. Oh, okay. We don't <laughs> know where Barry is. How convenient. Wow, is look everyone at this. All right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Yeah. Jill and I will stand here and Chris? do nothing. Take care. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Whoa! Modern controls are weird, dude. So yeah, my left... Here we go. My left thumbstick walks me in any direction, which I'm totally not used to. What's this? Ink ribbon? Yup. Will you take the ink ribbon? Yes. Wow, this game looks so different. Here's a typewriter to save. I'm not gonna waste an ink ribbon yet. We still got the fixed camera angles. Wow, lighting is awesome. A large filth encrusted jar. Smash it. Maybe there's items inside. Aw, oh, that's the later versions. Damn it. Okay. Whoa. What do we got over here? We've got a corner of the room and nothing. Oh. A crest. Will you take the emblem? Yes. Examine an item. From the status screen, select an item and then select Examine Command. The details will, will be displayed. Okay. So, oops. How do I get to that? How do I get to that? Oh, it's a uh, triangle gets me to my menu. Examine. Emblem. Zoom in and zoom out. It's gold all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. Okay. Anything else in this room? Probably not. Let's just double check. Oh, what's this? A clock. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. What? Oh, look at this picture. A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Ow. Well, guess what? That's totally new. That's not from the original Resident Evil. Huh. Okay. So let's see what's in this room. I like that they retained the doors. Look, they retained the door opening animations. Even though you know you could just instantly load it. Oh boy. It's locked from the other side. It's locked. An emblem of armor is carved into the lock. Nope, can't use that. That's not the right emblem. There's an elevator here, but it doesn't look like you can access it from this floor. It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. It's also not the right emblem for that. Okay. I think he's auto-running, because I'm not holding square, but he's running fast. I thought in the controls it said hold square to run. 
Alright, now we all know what's coming. Those of us who have played the original Resident Evil know what's coming. Here we go. Get ready. Oh, God, lightning! No, that's not what's coming. Here we go. <laughs> Yummy! Ooh! Hello! Acha cha cha cha! Better report back to Wesker. No! He's eating me! It takes like 5 million knife strikes to kill zombies in this game, by the way. Alright. Okay, back to Wesker. The ticking clock. Of course, they Wesker? vanished. Jill? Where did they go? A gun, huh? I don't need a gun. All right, yes I do. Will you take the handgun? Yes. So now we have a handgun, which is good because the knife is a fucking piece of shit. Actually, the truth is, you you basically shoot them till they drop to the ground, then you use the knife to finish them. But you can't just use the knife original. I and mean, again, maybe they changed it for the remake, but originally the knife is fucking garbage. It doesn't do shit. So there we go. What's back here? Whoa. Keep in mind, there's tons of new stuff in this game, supposedly, so I don't know where the fuck to go. Look at this. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. What the fuck? It must be locked, right? There are octagonal... Hold on. There are octagonal indentations to the right and the left of the door. So I can't go there yet. Hmm. So we got a door here. It's locked. And then my helmet is carved into the lock. Nope, can't use that either. Ah! And in the very first room, the tyrant! No. <laughs> oh look, a sparkly. We got a sparkly in this statue, so obviously we need to get up there somehow, right? Woman drawing water. Now in the original game you had to push this statue, I believe. But I think it's different now. Ah. Okay. Portrait hangs on the wall, seems like it's watching you. Sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me. Uh-oh. Careful. Various art supplies. Will you take the dagger? Yes. Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and select an item from the defensive item menu. This is all new, by the way. This was not in the original game. Then select the equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the controller settings, you must press L2 to use it. Alright, so the defensive item was equipped. A dagger. So I guess that's it. Now this is different. In the original Resident Evil, there was a zombie in this room. It was not, and there was no dagger in here. It was something else. So that's different. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, God! Oh! Hello! Oh, he's a, he's a cute one. God! Dagger to the face! 
He's dead. First kills are special. I got a trophy for it. So I got my dagger, and I immediately used my dagger. <laughs> okay, then. Owned. So that's probably introduction to, you know, the, the defensive combat. Oh, shit! You can climb on this! Okay, well, now I know what to do. I'm gonna push this shit over to the statue. Wait a minute. No, I'm not, apparently, because... It's not allowing me to. Hold on. Can I get behind it? No. Oh, don't do that. Aha! There's a map of the mansion. Take it? Yes. <clears throat> ha ha! So we've got a map of the mansion. This is pretty cool. Okay, there shows the, the closet that I was in, and then there's a door here. So I'm guessing that red means locked, right? Blue means open. Okay. I could be wrong. It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. Nope. I'm thinking these are keys that I need to open these doors. So, <clears throat> so nothing right now. We gotta get out of here, right? Okay. <clears throat>